Barbie dress for swim and fun is only $3. Her lovely fashions range from $1 to $5. Look for Barbie wherever dolls are sold. I'll make believe that I am you. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell. Hey guys, so today we are going to transform into the first Barbie doll ever. Barbie was first created by entrepreneur icon Ruth Handler on March 1959 to encourage little girls to grow up into leaders in the workforce instead of homemakers. Since then, Barbie has sold over a billion dolls inspiring many girls around the globe. To start off Barbie's look, grab a light blue and slightly darker blue eyeshadow. Apply the light blue heavily on the lid. Then apply the darker blue into the crease softly. Now apply a white eyeshadow into the center for dimension. Barbie has bold eyeliner so use a black liquid eyeliner pen to draw a thick cat eye. Next, apply a concealer under your eyes to brighten them up. I'm using the Age Rewind Concealer. Then, apply a thin layer of foundation over your skin. I'm using Revlon's Infallible Foundation. Barbie is known for her rosy cheeks, so I'm using ColourPop's Blush Sticks in the color Rose. All you gotta do is apply it and blend it out with your fingers. Next, apply a heavy powder all over since Barbie's complexion is very matte. Now to add a little warmth, apply bronzer around the corners of your face and in your cheekbones. I'm using Dallas from Benefit Cosmetics. Back into the eyes, apply a dark brown eyeshadow into your lower lash line since Barbie's eyes are lined all the way around, and then add on a pair of standard wispy false lashes. Onto the eyebrows, we want to get them arched. Now that process will be different for everyone, so for me, since I shaved my eyebrow tails, I just had to draw them back in. Once you have them arched, use a drop of pale concealer and brush it into your eyebrows to make them a lighter brown if needed. Moving on to the lips, I was so excited when it hit me that Barbie is sporting no other than the iconic Fire and Ice lipstick by Revlon, which was famously worn by Audrey Hepburn. So we will be using that, but first taking a regular red lip pencil to outline my lips. Next, time to define the lips. Use a concealer to make your bottom lip smaller than your top and define the lines. When you're done, they should look small but pouty. Next, to mimic her small nose, just draw a square around your nose tip and highlight the center of your nose. This is always my go-to trick for a small nose. Now moving on to her iconic ponytail. Take your bangs or add in fake bangs and curl them strand by strand with a 1 inch wand. This will help add that same texture her bangs have.
When you're done, if your bangs are too long like mine, use two bobby pins for each half of your bangs, roll the hair in, and bobby pin them to your hairline. Then spread them out to blend evenly. Now for the ponytail, you're going to curl the ends with the same wand to mimic her winglets. They should look a little something like this. And for a finishing touch, pop in some blue contacts if your eyes aren't blue already. Now I got this replica bathing suit from Munich Vintage. You can also find her black heels and these sunglasses there as well. And the earrings are real vintage. So here is the finished look. Barbie's small and so petite. Her clothes and figure look so neat. Her dancing outfit rings the bell. At party she will cast a spell. Purses, hats, and gloves galore, and all the gadgets, gals adore. Beautiful Barbie, I'll make believe that I am you. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up before you go. And if you want more vintage and princess content like this, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you know when I post. And I will see you in my next video.